Eugene O'Neill's Desire Under the Elms. Desire Under the Elms is a play by Eugene O'Neill, who is an American playwright. The play is divided into three acts, and each act is divided into four scenes. The action of the entire play takes place in and immediately outside of Cabot's farmhouse in New England in the year 1850. It is the story of Ephraim Cabot and his three sons by two wives, Simon Cabot, Peter Cabot and Eben Cabot. Simon and Peter are by first wife and Eben by second. All his sons hate him because they consider him selfish, greedy and irresponsible. Ephraim Cabot shocks his family by marrying for the third time and that also with a girl of 35 years of age when he was of 76 year old. His two sons, Simon and Peter, go to look for gold in California but even stays in the farm. He is very attached to the farm and does not want to leave it because it was of his mother. When Ephraim Cabot bring his third wife, Abby Pushnam to his farm, then Eben doesn't like it. He feels jealous of her because he thinks that she has come to take the farm which is of his mother, hence belong to him. In the beginning, they both hate each other to an extent, but later on this hatred was transformed into love affair, which was basically lust. This relationship of Eben and his stepmother uh, resulted in the birth of a son, which the old Ephraim thought his own child. Some misunderstanding developed between Eben and Abby regarding the birth of the child and to prove her love for him, she kills even her own child. She expresses to Ephraim that the child was of Eben and that she loves Eben, not him. She expresses her love to Eben and tells him that she has no desire to steal the farm from him. But it was too late as Eben has already called Sheriff to arrest her for her crime. When Cabot hears that Sheriff and his men are coming to arrest A.B., he gets angry and orders Eben to leave the farm. In this situation, all the misunderstanding was clear between Eben and A.B. Abby repents Eben and approaches A.B. Abby and asks her to forgive him. He also tells her that he loves her, which was very comforting to her. Now she can face any punishment without equanimity. Seeing all this happening, Cabot gets agitated and decides to quit the farm and set the cattle free. He also thinks to burn the house to ashes and go to California where his two sons are staying. He was convinced because he has hidden enough amount of money, but to his surprise, uh, all the money was already taken out by Even early on and has been given to the two brothers for their share of the farm. When Sheriff and his men come, Even who want to be in prison with A.B. confesses in front of them that he equally shares a crime. So both of them were arrested. The old Cabot is now left alone, moneyless, on the farm to live and work hard alone. Abby and Eben have no fear of fate because after the completion of their punishment, they will live together as lovers.